Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a memory spread and this is for the week of February 25th through March 3rd. I am finally transitioning into March. I know it's taken me so long. I'm so far behind because um, I think tomorrow is going to be April 1st. So I'm about a month behind at this point, but better late than never, I figure. And for this week, I have this kit from Sweet Fox Papery. I think this kit is so gorgeous and is also a great transition into March because it incorporates like the pinks of February and then these greens, um, which I think is perfect for March. So anyways, really quickly, I want to show you what's in the kit. We've got our full boxes here. We have these ombre heart checklists. We have the bottom washi and washi strips. We have half boxes, quarter boxes, and sidebar trackers. We've got the headers and, oh my gosh, look at this weekend banner. It's so gorgeous. I feel like with Sweet Box Papery, it's all in the details. And then we have some hexagon icons and check flags. And on this page, we have our date covers, which are so beautiful. And then we have some deco pieces, another sidebar tracker, three heart checklists, and a canceled sticker. So this is definitely a full kit. I think she sent this to me uh, for me to try out and it was so sweet of her to do that. So I'm really excited to jump right in and I'm gonna start with my bottom washi as usual. It's got this floral and also leafy pattern. So again, I just think it's perfect for this week. And yeah, if you're interested in watching me plan, then stay tuned. Because the washi was predominantly white in color this week, I did have to um, white out the lines of my Erin Condren planner just to make sure that they did not peek through the washi. And once I'm done placing down the strips on both sides, I move on and put down the quote box in the top corner of my sidebar. I then go ahead and place down all of the date covers, which like I mentioned already are so gorgeous. This is probably one of my favorite parts of the kit. Um, I also decided to pull in these date dots. These are from Ruby Trev, and I just placed them right on top where the leaf is just to mark down the dates of the week. And then moving back to my sidebar, I first placed down a this week header and I use the sidebar tracker to track working out as I usually do. For this week, I opted not to pull in glitter headers. So I'm just using mostly headers that came in the kit. I put down a sparks joy header to mark my happy moments of the week. And then the dinners header from the kit to mark the dinners that I had throughout the week. And I put down some deco pieces in the sidebar just to add a little decoration. And I move on to Monday. So first I put down a today header. Then I put down a Half box sticker with the bow paper clip from Sticky Fingers Co. Those are new in my collection. I had a really long meeting that morning. It was supposed to be 30 minutes and it went for two hours instead. So I blocked it off with that half box to take up the space. And then I did have a busy day at work. So um, to take up some more space, I put down this really large desk sticker. That's from my newest addiction. And I think it's so pretty and went really well with the kit. I also put down a washi strip underneath it. And then I used my Pilot brush lettering pen to write in busy day. So the Pilot Pen is one of my favorite brush lettering pens right now. Um, you can get it on Jet Pens. I will leave the link down below. I then did some groceries before heading home. So I put down an appointment label and then I used um, a grocery sticker from, I think that's from Lemon Paper Co, which I don't think is open anymore. I put down a full box underneath that. And then that night I decided to take a relaxing bath because um, the next month will be really, really challenging for me in terms of work. So I just thought I would practice some self care on Monday night before the craziness began. And I also listened to my new favorite Harry Potter podcast. It's called Binge Mode. If you are a Harry Potter fan, I would highly suggest you checking it out. It's so good. They analyze like every single chapter of the books. And yeah, I just really, really enjoy it. Um, the bath sticker is from Hazel Sticker and I think it's super cute and Perfect. Moving to Tuesday, I first started by putting down a today header at the top. I then pulled in this hexagon icon that is from the kit to mark a morning meeting that I had. And then we had our usual staff meeting on Tuesday. So I put that on an appointment label with a pencil sticker from Nikki plus three. I then placed down the full box and then I had two IEPs back to back that afternoon. Um, if you're new to my channel or if you don't work in the field of education, IEPs are meetings that we hold for students in special education and I do attend them quite a bit and um, on weeks that I have lots of IEPs, I tend to be super busy so you'll see that this week was definitely a busy one for me. At the end of the night, I just read more Harry Potter and so I put that on a label that I found with a Harry Potter Maru sticker from Paper and Milk. 
I then move on to Wednesday and first started by putting down a full box at the top. This one's so pretty because it forms like a circle and I was able to just write in something that I did that morning. Um, the to do script sticker I think is from K stickers co. And then I pulled in another one of those bow paper clip stickers from sticky fingers co to mark that I had a morning appointment with a student. And then, um, I used a today header with another half box and IEP flag from Lily Grove designs to mark that I had another IEP that afternoon. And I did a workout when I got home. So I pulled in a shoe sticker from paper and milk and also brush lettered workout with my pilot brush lettering pen. I then put down a strip of washi with a curry sticker from Hazel Sticker, who sells my favorite food stickers. If you're interested in checking out her shop, I am PRing for her, so um, there is a coupon code down below in the description box. And um, because I didn't do a whole lot that day, I just filled up some space with deco at the very bottom. And then I did record a voiceover earlier, so I used a strip of washi. The record script sticker is from Love Shira, and then that little YouTube icon is from Paper and Milk. So I totally forgot that the box I used on Tuesday is vinyl and um, my gel pens do not work well on vinyls. They smear. And so of course that sticker got smeared and I just replaced it with another washi strip instead. Moving to Thursday, I started by putting down a today header at the top and then I used an appointment label with a Keurig sticker from, I think that's from the Sparkly Studio to mark that I got coffee in our staff lounge that morning. They recently redid our staff lounge and it is so nice and it comes with this new Keurig so I definitely had to make myself a cup of coffee. I had a really busy day on Thursday so I put down this working mochi from Mochi Kichi to mark that and then I pulled in a half box with an IEP flag, again from Lily Grove Designs, to mark an afternoon. IEP that I had. That meeting was about three and a half hours, so I got home super, super late. I used an appointment label and that really tired girl um, sighing from Artbox sticker to mark how tired I was by the time I got home. I then used a full box at the bottom, but um, I wanted to stick some deco in the remaining space and I didn't have enough space left, so I did trim down part of the full box. We did date night that night and we actually got pizza, so I pulled in this super cute Gertie pizza sticker from Willow Wallow Co. And then I listened to more Binge Mode, um, the Harry Potter podcast when I got home, so I don't have any podcast stickers. I just pulled in this YouTube icon from Paper and Milk. Moving to Friday, I layered some washi strips together and then I pulled in this TGIF tech sticker from Little Red Prince. I got those like two years ago, so I'm not sure if they're still available. And then I found this little quarter box in my collection. Um, I use that to mark my morning coffee. I pulled in a coffee sticker from Echo Hui Craft Co. And then I marked a meeting with another bow paper clip from Sticky Fingers Co. Um, before putting down a full box in the middle section of the day. I had another IEP that afternoon, so I used another flag from Lily Grove Designs. As you can see, I had quite a lot of IEPs this week, so it was definitely super busy. I then shifted everything up a little bit because I needed more space to mark the things that I wanted to, and at the very bottom, I put down a half box. Um, I realized that I still didn't have enough space, so I actually moved the IEP icon onto the full box instead. I placed down this little things to mark that I stopped by Albertsons really quick after work and then I headed over to one of my friends house. Um, she had a baby like last May and I still haven't had a chance to meet her baby so I finally got to go over and meet her. She's so cute and so sweet. Um, that princess cat sticker is from Jesse James Design Co which is unfortunately not open anymore. At the end of Friday night, I went over to another friend's house and we did our girls' night that we try to do once a month. Um, I pulled in a beer sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams to mark that and it was really fun. We just love getting a chance to catch up and um, yeah, just have some girl talk and things like that. So anyways, then moving to the weekend, the weekend banner this week is super gorgeous, but it is quite large. So I had a hard time deciding where to put it. Um, I decided to stick it at the top and because it covered some of the writing on the date covers, I did try to go in and fill that in myself. Starting on Saturday, I first put down this appointment label and I pulled in this edit sticker from um, Love for Stickers, but I think she is no longer open anymore. Or if she did reopen, I think it's under a different name. And um, then on Saturday, it was raining that day. So I used a little washi strip with that raining sticker from Whimsical Cat Studio. They're so cute. I love how small it is and it fit perfectly in that space. 
On Saturday, my boyfriend and I drove down to San Diego to hang out with some friends. So I put down a to-do header and I cut up a heart checklist to three hearts. Um, to mark our drive down, I pulled in this little car sticker from Laven Forest and it's so cute. It's like a little cat driving the car and it's got luggage on top. We didn't stay the night so we didn't pack anything but I just thought that was such a cute sticker. We met up with our friends and then we went to our favorite brewery down in San Diego and um, that beer sticker I pulled in is from Sunset Sticker Co. I didn't need the bottom part of my full box and I wanted to have enough space to mark what I wanted so I did trim off the bottom part of the full box and then I used a washi strip with this like punching mochi sticker from mochi kichi which is so perfect because we went over to another friend's house and we watched the ufc fight and um of course i don't typically have like fighting icons but this one was so perfect it says like i need a punching bag um but i just cut off the text from it and just left it at that at the end of the night we drove home and i just pulled in a little piece of deco to mark that Moving to Sunday, I first put down this full box at the top, and Sunday was pretty much just like a chores and errands day, so um, nothing super exciting. I just figured I would use a lot of checklists to mark everything. The first thing we did was go to Target to grab some things that we needed, and that Target Run sticker is from Love Shira. I then used an errands header with a three heart checklist to mark some places that we went, and then I placed down this three heart checklist box to mark some of the chores that I had to do, um, some cleaning that I had to get done for the day. We went and got some boba on Sunday, so I pulled in this boba sticker from a happy blue tree, and then to mark my cleaning, I pulled in this really cute cleaning girl sticker from Little Star Plans. At the end of the night, I think I just like relaxed and probably slept early that night um, because again, this had been a really, really busy week in terms of work. So I pulled in this um, sleeping mask sticker and I think that is from Laven Forest. I go ahead and fill out my sidebar. I always track my workouts, my happy moments, and my dinners. And once I'm done with that, I'm just showing you these stickers that I have left in this kit. I do have a lot left over because this kit was very full, but as I've been doing, I just save the leftover stickers and I do a giveaway. I currently have a um, leftovers giveaway going right now in the previous plan with me video that I posted. Um, it closes on Sunday, April 7th, which is coming up pretty quick. So make sure if you're interested, make sure you leave a comment on that video, not this one, it's the one before, um, so that you you can be entered for the giveaway. So anyways, that is it for today's spread. I love how this turned out. Oh my gosh, this is giving me all of the spring vibes and I'm so in love. Um, Sweet Fox Papery has some of my favorite kits. They're always super unique, so make sure you check out her shop. And yeah, thank you so, so much for watching this video. Oh, the only little thing that I changed um, at the very end off camera was I whited out the um, flag of my Erin Condren planner on the left-hand side and I just stuck a piece of deco there instead. So I just wanted to mention that and yeah, Thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate your support and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.